Okay, so we were still under the properties of a magnet, and we were in number three. Number three is magnetic and non-magnetic material. And the magnetic materials are materials which are attracted by the magnet, and we have the examples here. And then we have said also, in these examples of magnetic materials, some of them are strongly attracted by the magnet. And those which are strongly attracted by the magnet is called ferromagnetic material. And we have given an example of ferromagnetic material we have here. So this one now, non-magnetic material. Which is a non what is a non-magnetic material? Non-magnetic materials are materials now which are not attracted by the magnet. Which are not attracted by the magnet. Examples. Examples of uh, non-magnetic material. We have so many examples. Wood is an example. We have wood to be an example. Plastic is not attracted by the magnet. We have the copper. Copper is not also attracted by the magnet. So, and then we have so many examples. So those those are now are uh, non-magnetic material. Okay, number four now of property. I said initially we have four properties of magnet. Number four, property number four is basic law of magnetism. Basic law of magnetism. Basic law of magnetism. What is basic law of magnetism? The basic law of magnetism states that the law of magnetism, the law of magnetism states that states that states that like poles like poles prevail like poles prevail and like poles attract like poles prevail and like poles attract what is the meaning of that that means now if we have for example a bar magnet this one to be a bar magnet, this one to be north pole and south pole. If we have the other magnet here, if we have the other magnet here, this one to be north pole and this one is south pole. This south pole and this north pole is a light force. And then the law of magnets says that if they are light force, they will attract. So then there will be attraction here. So then we will find this one attracting the other. So there will be attraction. That is what we have. If we have, for example, a, a magnet here, let's say this one is not south, and then we have the other magnet, this one is north and south. If we have north and north, the law say like poles, so they are like poles, they are the same pole, not pole and not pole. If you bring the two, a not pole and not pole closer, there will be a repulsion. There will be a force over the back, a repulsion. So, so this one now will be paired with other. This one will be paired with other. So those are now is what we call the basic law of magnet. So you should know how to define the basic law of magnets. Which says that light poles prevail and light poles attract. So those these one now are the areas which we have in magnet in magnets. So then we will now be a, so the first one property is we are now talking about the first one. So we are now calling the second the second one. Okay, uh, we are through about the first thing one, which is the properties of a magnet. We are now going to the second one, which is magnetic field pattern. The magnetic field pattern. Magnetic field pattern. In magnetic field pattern, we will start first by what you call magnetic field line. Magnetic Let's say this one is a bar magnet, this one is not pole, and this one is the south pole. If you take a magnetic material, I hope you know magnetic material. Here we say magnetic material are material which are attracted by the magnet. If you take a magnetic material and then we bring it closer here, you will find that there is attraction. But as you move that magnetic material away from the magnet, that attraction is being weakened. 
as you move away. So let's quickly modify that from maybe somewhere here. Let's say around this field here is where the magnetic attraction is felt. So then that means if you take a magnetic material and you bring it here, there is no attraction. But this magnetic material, when you bring it inside the magnetic field, there will be a magnetic attra attraction. That means now, if you as you move away the magnetic uh, material away from the magnet, that attraction is weakened. But as you manage to, to be closer to the magnet, it is being uh, strong. So that means now, around the magnet, there is a region or a space where the magnetic influence is felt. So this region now is called magnetic field. Is called magnetic field. So that, that region now where the magnetic influence is felt is called magnetic field. So then we will now define this magnetic field. What is magnetic field? Magnetic field. Magnetic field. Magnetic field. Magnetic field is a space. Is a space or region where magnetic where magnetic influence influence is felt where magnetic influence is felt so that is the magnetic uh, uh, magnetic field that region now where the magnetic influence is felt that magnetic attraction is felt is called the magnetic field. So that the magnetic field pattern now comes from this magnetic field. Okay, so what is magnetic field line? What is magnetic field line? Magnetic field line now. If we have also a magnet, if we have a magnet, it's a bar magnet, and we have this one, north and south. There is a, in that region now, there is a magnetic field line which is coming from north pole to the south pole. There will be a magnetic field line. There is a line which is running from the North Pole to the South Pole. There is this magnetic field line running from the North Pole to the South Pole. Okay, so then now it is running from North to South. We must show it using an arrow. It is originating from North Pole to the South Pole. This one now, this line here, is called the magnetic field line. The line is called magnetic field line. And then that magnetic field line is running from North Pole to South, to South Pole. What is the characteristics now of this magnetic field line? The characteristics of magnetic field line. Characteristics of magnetic field line. Characteristics of magnetic field line. Four properties. Characteristic of magnetic field lines. Characteristics of magnetic field lines. And uh, these are the magnetic field lines we are talking about it. What is the characteristics of that magnetic field lines? Okay. The magnetic field lines originate from North Pole and ends at South Pole. That one is the first characteristic. Originate from North Pole. Originate from North Pole and end at South Pole. Like this one, it is originated here and then end at some point. And then we must show it using an arm. That one now is the first property or the first characteristic of the magnetic field line. Okay, the second property now. What is the second property? They do not intersect each other. They do not intersect. The meaning of that, the magnetic field lines will not intersect each 
are, but they just move it. So this one is okay. But this one will not intercept each other like this. This one is wrong. So then they just move it parallel to each other and they do not intercept each other like this. So they, that one is the second uh, property of magnetic field lines. Okay, so we were in the second series uh, of magnetic field lines. Number three. Number three. Without characteristics, they depend each other sideways. They depend each other sideways. Sideways. They depend each other sideways. How? Oh, at this point where they are rotating, you will find that they are depending. They are depending each other. So then you find this one depending it upward, depending it downward. So they repair each other sideways. Number four, the fourth one, they are stronger where the field is closer. They are stronger where the field is, it is closer. Okay, so then this one is the right one. They repair each other sideways. Number four, they are closer together where the field is stronger. They are closer together. They are closer together. Together where the field, field is stronger. You will find that those magnetic field lines. If the field, magnetic field is strong, the magnetic field line will be closer together. For example, this one here. So, if we have this, this one is the magnetic field lines. Let's say this one is here. And we have B here. And we have B here. We have B here. This is the magnetic field lines. Between A and B, which one is strong magnetic field? You will find A is strong. Why? Because the magnetic field line is very close. So then they are stronger where the magnetic field line is closer. So this one is strong. Magnetic field. Strong magnetic field. Uh, and this one is weak. And we say weak as compared to A. We will not just say this one is strong. We don't compare it with the other one. So then we say that. A is strong as compared to B. Why? What are you uh, seeing for you to say that this one is strong and the other one is weak? You will just see the, the magnetic field lines. If they are closer together, then it means it is very strong. If it is far apart from each other, then it means that one is weak, is weak. Field pattern around a bar magnet. Field pattern. Field pattern around a bar magnet. Field pattern around a bar magnet. Uh, in a bar magnet, there is also a magnetic field pattern. So then this one is a bar magnet, not pole and so forth. We say that we have the magnetic field pattern which is running from north to south. So we have the magnetic field line 